Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the difference between PACFA and ACA, which are two counseling registration bodies. So if you're interested in who to register as a counselor, keep watching. In Australia, there are two main options if you would like to register as a counselor. There's PACFA, which is the Psychotherapy and Counseling Federation of Australia, or there's the ACA, which is the Australian Counseling Association. Both of these registration bodies have pros and cons, and it really just depends on what suits you and which pathway you'd like to go down, as well as what you've studied and any other kind of eligibility requirements that they both look for. Personally, I have been registered with PACFA, but that was just something that our uni kind of told us that we should do and I didn't really look at any other options I just thought PACFA was the only option so after finishing my degree and going into different roles it was you didn't necessarily need to register to work in those roles but once I got to a role where NDIS was involved they did need us to register so then I was registered with PACFA which I also then kept my registration to practice as a private counsellor. So PACFA offered me options such as professional development webinars and just other insights into the field. They'll send newsletters that would give you updates on what's happening in the field. So I can't really share my experience of being registered with ACA because I haven't been registered with them, but I have looked at both their websites and I've looked at some of the eligibility criteria, so I can share that with you in this video today. In terms of pricing, PACFA does seem to be a bit more expensive, but they do also offer an affiliate option. So for people who haven't got a degree in counseling or aren't eligible to register under one of the practicing counseling options, you can register as an affiliate member and that is a little bit cheaper so that's about $213 per year and then you have access to all of the member benefits that other counsellors would have but you can't practice as a counsellor or say you're a PAC for registered counsellor. Otherwise they have other memberships for counsellors and they range from about the 300 mark to about $426 a year. So that's something to take into consideration. The Australian Counselling Association have memberships from about $280 to $340. And both PACFA and ACA offer different levels of membership. So it really depends on where you're at in your career, um, how many client hours and supervision hours you're doing, which will kind of guide you as to what level of membership you can end up applying for. Also something to note is PACFA don't offer memberships for those who have completed a diploma in counselling, whereas ACA do. So if you've completed a diploma, then you'd want to go down the ACA route. And the last thing to note is that students can join free, but students again can't advertise that they are a practicing member of these bodies. They just have access to professional development, basically like an affiliate member. So yeah, as a student, you can access the professional development webinars and any other benefits that the members would have. So updates on what's happening in the field, getting those newsletters and any other news that you might be interested in hearing about. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in more counselling content.